Hi, my name is Masha. I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde. And today, let's talk about what happens when UX meets blockchain. I've interviewed Kate, who's had a fascinating journey into UX design and ended up doing user experience design for blockchain products and has very interesting tips and insights to share with us. So let's go for it. Hi, Kate. Hi, Masha. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for taking time. Of course. And answering some of my questions. I'm very excited. Excellent. So you do UX for blockchain products. I do. Why would you say that blockchain projects need user experience design? Pretty much because they're a product and every product needs UX. What is special about the blockchain is that it's a new technology. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of interest, a lot of engineers are building things, a lot of companies are interested in it, and what I think the space really needs now is that kind of user experience viewpoint, because people are going to be using these products. We want to understand how they use them so we can build a better product and get the blockchain out there, essentially, make it become mainstream, or That's help it become mainstream. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, because a lot of people don't really get very lost, and so if right. the design would be clunky, they would be completely... Yes. Just... Yeah, space again. Unfortunately, when you're at the forefront of something, you are also educating everybody about it. And it, it's kind of our responsibility now to be like, this is the blockchain. This is how it works. This is a very friendly product that will explain it. That's amazing. And so what would you say that is the biggest difference between, well, let's say regular mm -hmm. UX design, because mm -hmm. you come from a UX design background, yep. and designing the user experience for a blockchain product? Part of it is absolutely the education, is that you're dealing with something that most people aren't familiar with. But kind of as an aside to that, you're also dealing with something people are very, a very small group of people are very familiar with and have very strong opinions about. So you're at the same time trying to empower people to own their own data, their own currency, but also that is they are taking their own security into their own hands. And there is a very kind of fragile balance between allowing people to completely own something and helping them not mess that up, essentially. And I think that is pretty much the biggest difference is that you are messaging a lot to your users and it's about a lot of important things. And you're also setting best practices for the future, so no pressure. No pressure, <laughs> no at, pressure all. at all. Seriously, how did you end up in this new industry, this exciting new field? Um, I have a pretty pretty patchwork background, um, even before coming to UX. I had teaching experience, I had finance experience before finally shifting into the UX space. And what kind of led me to the blockchain was um, an interest in systems, financial systems, and how people use them. And I think right now the blockchain has a lot of great ideas that even go beyond finance and fiat currency and cryptocurrency. And it's just... When I saw this opportunity, I was just really excited to be part of a new technology and kind of set the groundwork for what UX will be in this space for the future, how people will interact with it, what it can do, and really helping it out with the skills and strengths that I have. Since you got into the industry mm -hmm. uh, recently, but you yes. do have experience in UX design, mm -hmm. would you say that it requires different skills? How would you recommend for people who potentially would like to start doing mm -hmm. UX for blockchain uh, technologies, how would you recommend them to get into it? Um, you know, there are a thousand different ways to get into it. My recommendations would be start downloading cryptocurrency wallets on your phone and just using them and thinking, all right, how am I experiencing this? What would I do differently? There are a ton of meetups in all size towns and cities where people who are blockchain enthusiasts go to them to network. Their people are really welcoming in this space. They want more people. They want to learn and they want to build products. And just read about it. There's a lot of news. There are a lot of communities out there online. If you don't want to go out and meet people, go online and start talking and seeing. People are very vocal about what they want right now and what their experiences are. And by just kind of diving in, that's how you're going to get that experience. That's what we've all been doing since the beginning. And I know that there is starting to be a great need for UX designers across the world in this space. So companies are also certainly looking for people with any kind of UX experience and willing to kind of bring them up to date on the specificities of blockchain. It's amazing because 
because obviously a lot of people aren't necessarily familiar with the technology yeah. and like you said in our conversation earlier yes. it's very important to understand the technology a lot of the time mm -hmm. to design for people who yes. are using that technology so it's yeah. great that companies are willing to educate yeah absolutely yeah definitely and companies are willing to educate communities online are willing to educate there are massive online courses about introducing people to Bitcoin even. And those are all great starting points. That's awesome. It's a very male dominated mm -hmm. industry. When we met at mm -hmm. the um, at Denver Hackathon, there were a couple of women, but the main audience in the room was kind of male. Mm -hmm. As a woman mm -hmm. in this industry that is very, very male yes. dominated, what would your advice uh, would be to the women who are thinking of getting in there but are potentially either a little afraid or mm -hmm. they don't know where to start? What would you recommend to them? Um, I mean, to, to the women who might be hesitant because it is so male dominant, go for it. I have found the space to be very welcoming and very inclusive, especially in Denver, is that they want everybody in the world to be involved in this and that they're everybody, they want to meet you halfway. And you just have to go out and you have to get there. You, you, if you are a woman in UX and you want to be in blockchain, you already have the skills. You have the strength. Go do it. You don't, just, yeah, just do it. Put yourself out there. And just find the people that recognize your talent because you're worth it. Meetups. See what local, like meetup.com. Start meeting people who are just interested. Start looking on what, like, community websites and just seeing where the people are talking about it, where it's being mentioned, and put yourself out there. Yeah, I mean, I know it can be easier said than done, but you have to start somewhere, and you may as well start talking to people. Yeah, I, think, I feel like it's the best place to start because if people are already in the industry, yeah, it's less intimidating. Like what you just said, a lot of employers will educate you on that. And yeah, yeah, just get out there. <laughs> you you are worth it. They want you. They need you. Definitely. That's awesome. Absolutely. And I'm thinking. People can be uncertain about tech because tech has a certain reputation. I have found the blockchain space itself to be different from other tech areas. And kind of being familiar with general IT uh, departments and companies and everything, blockchain is a little different. Blockchain is really focused on getting all the voices out there. So they want your voice, your voice deserves to be heard. Go for it. That's awesome. Yeah. What a, I'm, I'm super excited for this industry to evolve and show what it can do. Definitely. It's just, um, yeah, it's yeah. fascinating. It's very excited for the future. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Um, it has been very, very valuable, and I'm sure a lot of people in my audience uh, now have more confidence in themselves and more confidence in their abilities to enter Absolutely. this um, industry. Thank you. Awesome, you're welcome. Thank you, Masha. Okay, thank you so much for giving me the interview once again. It was very, very interesting to hear your thoughts on blockchain and why UX is so important in that area. If you guys want to follow Kate on Twitter, the link is below. And also there's a link to her portfolio and some other resources that she has recommended for you, including books. So yes, go into that description right now. It's scroll down and find it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm sorry about the background noise. We were at a cafe that was about to close. So logically you'd think people would be leaving it, but no, it seemed like there was a party or something like that. So yeah, I'm sorry about the background noise. Yes, if you have any comments or suggestions or ideas, please let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram or on my blog, codingblonde.com. Yes, bookmark it and subscribe to my newsletter if I can't say it here, where can I say it? Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.